What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, before we get back to our crazy reality, man, we need to get into season two, episode five of House of the Dragon. So thank you guys so much. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. I know. Let's go. I just don't even know what to say because of what could happen. What's going to happen? <laughs> well, <clears throat> we're going to see Lord Corliss's reaction, oh. which is going to be incredibly sad. What else? We're going to have to see what happens with Aegon. Well, like, are they the going to burn him or the house of the funeral? Yeah. Who's going to take over? Rhaenyra is going to be devastated because doesn't she kind of confide in her? In right. Way? She was kind of like the low key hand, but not. Yeah. And she was good to have because she showed a lot of restraint, although she was the one that just went to war. <laughs> so that has to be very important that they're showing that on here. What? Them, the people being hung up. Yeah, because why else would you put that on a quilt? You know, I just thought it was kind of a minute thing until I just thought about it. Maybe to signify that he's not really one with the people, I guess. Um, oh, that was hot tide. Yeah. Oh. Okay. It just looked different. Yeah, that looked crazy, didn't yeah. it? Yeah. It was all gloomy. Well, that's fitting. They really got past the grieving part quick. They could have like drawn it out and made it dramatic for like, you know, dramatic effect and stuff, but they chose not to. They're keeping it moving. Behold, the traitor dragon Maylise, <gasps> slain at Brook's rest by your king to Aegon. To Aegon. My this is a black omen. Black omen. Oh my gosh, maybe it's like revelations to them. Yeah. How frightening would that be? Don't they realize we won the battle? Strange victory, if it was one. So they didn't even say anything about Aegon. They just said he slayed in the least. That's it. The people are just looking like shot, right? Yeah. Out of the water. Dragon I thought the dragons was gods. Oh, maybe they're in disbelief because they didn't know a dragon could fall. Yeah, when they said about omen, that's what I felt like. Oh, it's just me. <laughs> hey, oh. Oh. They There's look your like rat catchers right okay. there. Yeah. Cop the knife, you see? Right, so she's getting suspicious of him because he's got the knife. He's like... Okay, Roman, trusting me out. Anytime they show her, I get to thinking that it's because of something that she's seen. Or something. Right. That's where Viserys was. That's so sad. Is he alive? His grace remains with us for the moment. He's alive right now? Dude. I was feeling so dumb. I was like, why are they carrying his body up there? That's prophetic if he survived it falling from the sky like that. Oh, there's some silent it's sisters. Time. Just in I'm case he... Now, if you'll excuse me, your grace, these next hours are most critical. Genuinely, I'm glad you have to leave the room because I don't want to see it. Well, I bet Amon's probably hoping that he don't make it. I know, because he... Someone will have to rule in his stead. She's like, yeah, me. <laughs> You're one-eyed willy. <laughs> you ain't ruling nothing. Dang, so you really be using lemon and salt to clean things, like even swords. Oh, does he feel dirty? He's always cleaning himself, huh? Yeah. What happened? We took the castle at the cost of some 900 men. I left a meager garrison behind to protect it, and the king's dragon, Sunfire, was long in the dying. The king? Sir Christen, what befell him? His grace fought valiantly. If you say so. Naaman? His grace fought valiantly. I could not say. Our largest dragon has been killed. Kristen Cole marches about the crown lands unchallenged. Duskendale down. And Rook's rest are gone. We still have no ground army, but the one we hope that Damon will raise. He who has left us after some marital spat. Do you take issue with me, Sir Alfred? My loyalty to you is proven, my queen. 
Your loyalty, perhaps. But your willingness to give me deference in a time of war. It is merely that the gentler sex, heretofore, has not been much privy to the strategies of battle or their execution. There has been peace in our lifetime. You've seen no more battles than I have. Sweet summer child. They need to sort of unite. I feel like if they could unite, they could start making some moves. Send to Maidenpool and to Cracklaw Point. Let them man their garrisons and give them stores or weapons if they find them wanting. If Cole pursues his campaign, our allies must be we ready. We must answer Rook's rest, Duskendale. They are lost already, but Vagar is depleted after such a hard-fought battle. If Aegon is dead, we will soon know it. It would be a victory in name only. They will soon prop up another in his stead. The time is ripe. If we can strike King's Landing before that dragon is recovered... Then I myself must do it. My queen, you are the crown. It is out of the question. What would you have me do? Offer up some freaking answers, come on. Where are you going? To Harren Hall. Treat with the daemon. You don't get caught up too. He must affirm his loyalty to my mother and report his standing. And you think you will tame him when the queen herself could not? My mother gladly sends you away to scout, to fight. Whilst I'm here being forced to play the coddled princeling, it's humiliating me. She only protects you. You are the succession. And I must be seen to act for her claim and mine. A little go-getter. And sit still no longer. I must act. What I feel like he's gonna get himself killed. It's not scary. The phrase. They control the crossing at the twins. Mm-hmm. Crick and Stark's greybeards are marching south. If his men had a direct route into the Riverlands, we would not have to wait for Damon to act. I will treat with the phrase to secure it. She will not like it. Then don't tell her. <laughs> not until I'm That's what I'm saying. He's trying to make some moves. This feels like Survivor, doesn't it? There's two things I always say. What is what and don't trust a fray. <laughs> the hour is late. <laughs> My no. dragon is hungry. You have no choice but to submit. Our terms are simple, Lord Bracken. Renounce the false King Aegon as a usurper. Bend the knee to me. <laughs> Or your house burns. He's like Danny, but so be much more casual. I the Lord of Bones and Cinders than bend my knee before some heathen Blackwood <laughs> and his hired dragon. Brackens okay. were a people hatched out of the deepest of the seven hells, your grace. Be a kindness to oblige them and send them back whence they came. Did your brother's head keep on its way back to you, Willem? Oh. I heard the maggots got to it. That is quite the impression, Lord Bracken. But alas, not an answer. Oh, man. We choose fire. Damn. They said the running start fire. <laughs> so we I didn't even get to see they it. They'd be so eager to die. They made their choice. No, no, no. You should have indulged them. I need them alive. Came here to raise swords, not corpses. But now you see what my house has known for generations. They are pig-headed, intransigent. They would rather burn than succumb. Exactly the kind of men I need. How are you going to win them, David? May yet be possible, I think, for both of us to achieve our ends. We have fought them for an age and more. Then perhaps you could try less fighting and more persuading. They wow. are unyielding in battle, but every man has a weakness. You take my meaning, then. There are things the crown itself must not be seen to do. Show them your worst. I am your servant, your grace. Yeah, that's some good words by Damon. That's why he sent somebody to do his dirty work over in King's Landing, huh? Because you don't want to do anything bad again? Over the centuries, many and more armies have broken themselves against my bloody gate. Are you listening? My lady. The eerie itself is impregnable. Unless, of course, we're descended upon from the sky. You promised the Queen Rhaenyra 15,000 swords. In return for protection. A dragon. Then she has exceeded your terms. She sent two, both still wet from the egg. I have hunting hounds that are more fearsome. They are dragons nonetheless. I do not recall you specifying the size of the beast in your request. Will you go me? Ooh. When your bread and shelter now depend on my pleasure. The dragons will grow in time. I don't have time. I mislike feeling powerless. <laughs> so do I. We shall got that in common. This will be your chamber. I'll expect you at supper this evening. My sympathies for the death of your grandmother. Oh, did she oh, not know? Yeah, it kind of seems like she didn't. Today. Cause yeah, because she's she been do? on the road, yeah. Responsible for Rainey's and her dragons. Wow, she's cruel. I'd rather they had. They speak around me, not to me. Oh, they would make me queen, but they wish to keep me here, confined. They betray their own smallness. In truth, I cannot fault them. I am now the sovereign. I cannot do as I please. And war has ever been for men to make. You are your father's chosen successor. They did not prepare me to fight. If I had been a son, a sword thrust into my hand the moment I could walk. Instead, I was given my father's cup, taught the name of every lord and castle between Storm's End and the Twins, but not the difference between Hilt and Foible. You gotta fight differently and then. And Damon as well. Shall your evening meal be served here, Your Grace? Not now. 
Yeah, because all that fighting with the Blackwoods ain't paying off. You gotta try, like, diplomacy. Will you send to him? For too long, I have looked to him for strength. If I must be supplicant to my own husband, what does that make me? I do not know my part, Miss Arya. Path I walk has never been trod. Kristen Cole made a mistake, parading a dragon's head through the streets like a prize of war. But the people see an ill omen. They are afraid. Bread is scarce. The king has fallen. They whisper to each other that when Viserys lived, there was peace. Mm. But will whispers tear down stone or break shields? Do not underestimate your subjects. They are a thousand thousand living in the shadow of the Red's Keep and forgotten for too long. And you think they will turn to me? To the discontented, rumors are feed. Nice. Your grace, what you cannot do, let others do for you. There is more than one way to fight a war. Yeah, that's what I was saying, like diplomacy. Like, do you talk, communicate, do what you're good at? What name are you gonna be wild? That made it really intense and kind of cool. Yeah. The thought of her lying in a field, broken amongst her enemies. Did your grandmother ever tell you of the night she claimed Maylise? She snuck into the dragon pit? She knew that place better than any elder. I said she could see in the dark. My father was furious. His own mother's dragon, the fastest beast ever known, and she loved none of him, <laughs> but bent her neck to Rainey's. She was fierce, in love and in anger. She did not always care for me, but for what she gave me in the end, I'm grateful. I wish I had known her when she was young. Aww. You are very like her in some ways, and with her gone, I must rely on you, I think. Would you give this to your grandsire? What is that? I don't know. Her grandsire's Lord Corliss, though, right? Yeah. I do not wish to stand alone. What the hell? Damon. What the hell? <laughs> you were always the strong one. Finest swordsman. Who is this lady? I'm telling Rhaenyra. The fearless dragon rider. This kind of looks like Danny's brother. <laughs> Your brother had great <laughs> For Game of Thrones. love in his heart. I must be missing something because I don't know who this is. <laughs> it's a crazy way to meet somebody, though. I know, right? If only you'd been born first. My favorite son. Ooh. I should have known. Them Targaryens, boy. Is the duck not to your liking, Your Grace? He's at dinner? There's also goose, if you prefer it. Ooh. I like the goose myself. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I'm not hungry. I was saying, given the rather dire news from Rook's Rest, it appears the winds have shifted and each side has suffered great loss and will be unsure of what is to follow. Good time then for a show of strength. I believe Woolen Blackwood is bringing House Bracken to heal. We must ready the castle to receive a great host. You seem sure of this. All men may be led to Simon, young rivermen. It is a matter of showing them whom it behooves them to follow. How does the work here progress? We're drawing water for the kitchens and lighting the forges. Very well. The roof alone is needed tending since the reign of Aeneas and the storerooms and the Wailing Tower. The bats have made the corridors almost impassable with the quantity of their well, they you should. know. <laughs> I venture there are smiths and armourers to be found near Nutton and Riverbend. Mm, well, send for them and levy the farmers from Antlers to High Heart. Task their huntsmen to bring us meat and wood. There is, of course, the matter of payment. After the, the tragedy that befell his father, Laris transferred his family's wealth to King's Landing. Is there any gold left in your coffers? Oh, Enough yeah, because that guy got killed, remember? Kristen Cole did. Fed and warm, relatively. I rather thought your grace as emissary to the queen. Perhaps she could provide the necessary coin if you could only write to her. No, Perinor is my command. I shall guarantee the payment myself. Let's see it, Damon. <laughs> they Very look like well, hobbits. <laughs> you should address me as my king. But you're the prince. Ooh. What would you call the husband of the queen? Well, the king. There it is then. Consul. Okay, KC. Last bit seems unnecessary, don't you think? The armor was Valyrian steel. His grace suffered grievous burns over much of his body. I fear there are more injuries within. Injuries we cannot see. We are grateful for your works, Grand Maester. Has he woken? No. I must admit, I'm not sure he will ever wake. I have plied hey. my oh crafts my to their fullest extent. Our king's fate lies with the gods now. Damon's over there praying there ain't any. A king cannot rule in his sleep. The realm will have noticed his absence. Let them hear of his great deeds at Rook's rest. But now we must name a regent to take his place until he recovers. Borders not. 
A wise strategy, Your Grace. The Regency will assure the people of the stability of the Crown. True. Did you have a candidate in mind, Your Grace? I myself served this role as my husband. I am well prepared to do it again. You played your part admirably in a time of peace, Your Grace, but mm. circumstances have changed. And here I had forgotten. The King does not lack for heirs. <laughs> the obvious choice is his immediate successor, Prince Eamon. Agreed. Eamon is young, and his lack of restraint has already cost us dearly. Them undertones. <laughs> It is experience that offers the surest path to security. Queen Alison ably shouldered the duties of the realm when her husband's health failed him. Experience is valuable, yes, but the Dowager Queen is a woman. I am no stranger to rule or to sitting at this council. Aemond is a fearsome dragon rider. His skill is best employed in the field, but my experience is needed here, at this table. No offence was meant, Your Grace, but at a time when we must show strength. Lord Laris. Oof. I agree, Your Grace. It must be Prince Aemond. Oh. Shit happened. What no would more you say FJs in for response you. to Rhaenyra's crowning? We raised up a woman yeah, with our own. some toes. <laughs> but the hand speaks with the king's voice, Sir Kristen. What say you? Ooh, put him on the spot so he has to deny her in public. Eamon is the next in line. <laughs> it must be him. It's agreed, then. <laughs> of course it is. A minute ago, he was looking down at the table. Didn't even know what was going on. Oh, <laughs> a little attitude. <laughs> Is it time to clock in? As king. What is our standing in the Riverlands? The banners of House Tully are in disarray, Your Grace. Prince Damon has little hope of fielding an army of any size for now. Mm. Oh, she's pissed. She's, she's rumbling. Your brother says to meet Damon. You should quicken his pace and check the Rivermen while their banners are in disarray. I love the way this is shot. Turn our attention to the small folk here. They have grown weary. Dang, they're not changing the scene, are they? So mm -hmm. have we all. Many are fleeing the city, spreading word of their fear and unrest. Then let the gates be closed. No one is to leave or enter save with our consent. Merchants, so forth. Go to your tasks. We shall meet again at first light. Or when someone cut down the fucking rat catchers. Complete opposite. I know, he was like ready to clock in. You saw that? Complete opposite. He's been thinking that was a dumb idea since day one. The city's safe no longer. He studies history and philosophy. No food. <laughs> Our neighbors are stealing from each other. We must get out. And where would you have us go? North, maybe? South? Endos, that's where they all go. Isn't the dragon's teeth. Like the one they carted through the streets. You think Rhaenyra will let such an affront go unchallenged? We should make for Tumbleton. My brother will have room. You would have me turn beggar. Man, his pride just blew up, didn't it? Mm -hmm. And they got sick kids. Ready? And he's got the Thor uh, hairstyle. Have you been paid for those machines you were forced to build? The king has promised payment. The king has lied. By all means, stay and wait for his empty promises, husband. With them, you can feed the mouths of ghosts. Damn. <laughs> they can't lower them down. They can't, like, make a little pulley system and just, like, a tree limb. Hey, that's that dress, right? Yeah, that's a familiar dress. Yeah. Presumed you'd be here, seeing faithfully to the Prince Regent's commands. Aemond is the next in line. It is the order of things. You know what he is, what he has somehow become. He's a king's Has slave. your loyalty faded, or does it flourish only at night and flee the sunrise like a moth? What I saw at Rook's Rest. What? What did you see? Their armor melted. There were men walking, they were on fire. Destruction. That's what he saw. We have given the war to the dragons. The dragon rider should lead us. And what of justice, of temperance, or is strength now to be our only god? So you cast me aside. Have I not spared you? What we must do now is terrible. Will you preside over it? Is this who you are, Alison? I did not ask to be spared. And I did not give you leave to speak my name. Ooh, don't be calling me Alison. Kristen Cole is a man conflicted, ain't he? Stay back! Oh, dude, is it? Are they, they're locking him in. Because he said no one's allowed to leave the city, so it's basically like they're trapped. Oh yeah. And they're scared because they think Rhaenyra's about to retaliate with a dragon. Well, they also don't have food. Like all the food's <laughs> moldy. Bless you. <laughs> Bless you. Oh my goodness. And all the food's moldy. Right. By order of Aemon Targaryen, Prince Regent, and Protector of the Realm. Aemon. Does he mean the king? I don't know. You cannot you keep us here. To return to your homes. You want me? Okay, we see that they're not happy with the realm right now. Lots of people. Our Lord Grover Tully has not declared for Rhaenyra. It means death to bear steel against your liege. I'm sure my prince is aware. 
And against your queen? Jason Lannister is marshalling to the west. We need to check him before he reaches River Run. That requires passage. And if Stark's army is too slow, the wind's rising. Winter's nigh upon us. Our hesitance does not lie in Rhaenyra as queen, nor in the ruminations of Lord Tully, the oaf. Our fear lies in Vagar. You fear a dragon leagues away when mine own sits outside your walls. Yeah, tell him. But that's a big one, though. She ain't lying. Do you offer us your protection? I do, and the protection of my uncle. And Damon, I'm sure, has consented to this? He will do as his queen commands. That does lend us some comfort. Though it occurs to me that dragons cannot be in two places at once. Or three. What do you want? Laris Strong has been relieved of his castle. Does the queen intend to raise up a new lord? They want Harrenhal? You want Harrenhal? How are we talking? For that, my mother will want more than your crossing. What does her grace desire? Bent knees. I was about to say full support. Okay, Jace, making the moves. And the phrase didn't always seem like they were grimy, did they? Right, well, obviously, this doesn't work out. <laughs> you know? <laughs> That's a good shot, though. Hey, you see that dragon? Mm -hmm. It's just back there shadow boxing. Yeah, just, just staying warm. <laughs> just in case, you know. It's not ice swinging axe. That lady reminds me of Agatha off um, WandaVision. It's her vibe. Oh. You're born to wield a sword, but not so much an axe, perhaps. There are others who would sit idle and wait for their claims to be brought to them. That is not my way. The splitting fire would justify what's followed you here. Let it not be said that Daemon Targaryen failed to dirty his hands in this war. Oh, let me see them. I hear strange things from Brackenland, from Stonehenge, and Lambswold, and Moray. There's news, then. News? What I hear, I hear in the wind. Cries of anguish. Children being taken from their mothers, men coming home to find their doors unlatched, their wives carried away. War is a terrible thing. This is not war. These are crimes against the innocent that any upright man would repudiate. Surely you haven't mistaken me for an upright man. The black ones had their chance to do as I required. They will perhaps think better of their decision if their children's lives are staked on it. Is that the kind of army you would raise? Any Maybe. Who hate you? Nah. We serve you under duress. Well, once they agree to serve me, I'll treat them fairly. Set an example for the rest of the Riverlands to follow. And once again, in the name of power, it's the weak and the women who must endure. Oh. That fool Aegon is unlike to survive. The realm will suffer if Aemon one eye rules. <laughs> mm -hmm. Aemon one eye. <laughs> they will cut you down soon as wish you good day. I'd heard the same thing about you. But I'll cross you no further. I'm sure your tactics are, after all, approved by the Queen. Dang, you a puppet. <laughs> he is an axe, though. She cannot succeed, Alice. Even if I willed it to be so, the people who support her will not be led by her. They look to a man for strength. Who's better suited to it? The high towers with their scheming, or Viserys' first true heir? When I take King's Landing, Rhaenyra is welcome to join me there and take her place by my side. King and Queen, ruling together. And if you lose? Then I'll be dead, and none of this will be my problem. It's a pity, don't you think, that you never knew your mother? A message. Your grace. Why is she talking so much junk? Right. Her fresh news from... Because he knew about her yesterday. Hedge. The Blackwoods have overwhelmed the Brackens, and uh, Lord Amos has pledged his banner to you. House Bracken is yours. There you go. Also, said. Willem here, so the time I congratulate him. The Blackwoods will be feted in these halls. Nice. I sought you at high tide. I was surprised when they said you were here. My castle is a tomb. Empty. Haunted. This oh, whole family, I'm sad man. I've missed its highest days. I imagine your Hall of Nine filled with lords and kings, all eager to treat with the legendary Lord of the Tides. The wealth you brought back from Yi Ti and a shy, inspiring awe and envy. I wonder if any of them knew it was all for her. Aww, that's so sad. Queen Rhaenyra wishes to name you Hand. <gasps> Aww. Even the death of my wife does not content her. Oh. And she not asked enough of my house. She has a, a whole different attitude now. Right. Or does she think the position will compensate me for my loss? Pledge your peace to King's Landing, then. They will accept it most gleefully. Rather, I would sail into the West and be lost. You have done so before, at great cost to yourself and those who loved you. Oh, I like this. Rhaenys was not only your wife, not a thing to be taken from you. She was a Targaryen princess, the queen who never was, and she flew to Rook's rest of her own will in defense of her kin. And she died. She died as she would have wished to die, with honor. In Dragonfire. Oh, just like her mom. The way my mother chose. Yeah. And the way I myself wished to meet my end. The same way you just want to sell off in a boat. Yeah. My grandmother who loved me. 
but I carry her on with me. I will see Rhaenyra ascend the Iron Throne, as Rhaenys wished. Okay, Baylor. As Rhaenys herself should have. You yourself may do as you see fit. What's he gonna do? What's he gonna do? I would make you my heir. I am blood and fire. Driftmark must pass to salt and sea. Oh. She said, "Don't, don't forget who you are." This you know what? You know what? I think that might mean his bastard son. Yeah, maybe so. Yeah, and Rhaenyra kind of gave him the pass, or not Rhaenyra, but uh, Rhaenys gave him the pass too. Mm -hmm. Your Grace, you were correct in saying our best hope of an army is with Damon, and I have perhaps erred in waiting for him to prove himself. I wish you to go to Harrenhal. Are you removing me from your council, Sir Alfred? I, I will not deny you have tried my patience of late. <laughs> or that I would prefer a council more inclined to champion their queen. But <laughs> you and your house served my father well. And I know you will never accept the Hightower claim. Not while I live, Your Grace. We cannot challenge King's Landing without the Riverlands. But I will not send a message by Raven for Dame to disregard. I ask you to reason with him. Good luck. <laughs> Find out his state of mind. And his intentions. Intentions? He's like, his wife is asking me to do this? Whether he means to raise a host for me or for himself. He would not dare. <laughs> right, he's he getting caught up in the middle of something, ain't he? Mm -hmm. Go now with haste. I'll send good men to see to your safety. Have you any message for him? Tell him I would much like to finish our last conversation. He's like, kind of strange. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, damn, it's like... He left her on red. That's, what that, that's what's happening. He's like, it's 11.15 at night, but I'll, I'll get to going. <laughs> Your Grace. What is it, Sir Simon? Is the pudding now served? <laughs> <laughs> the river lords have come, Your Grace. They wish an audience. Now? What godless hour is it? The wolf. They are demanding to speak presently. Don't that mean it's like in the middle of the night? Something like that. That's what I gathered. But every time Wolf's out. He looked kind of sleepy when he walked in. He here with a lesson in etiquette. <laughs> Failing that in proper fear of your Targaryen master. Is there some reason you feel free to wake a king in his bed? Or shall king I now begin your education? House Bracken have been brought to heel at the hands of Willem Blackwood. That news is stale. There have been um, complications. The sacred seps on Bracken lands were looted and burned. As were the fields and farms. The livestock was stolen and our peasants put to the sword. They pursued the women and the children. There were works of barbarity. Punishing Bracken for his own treasons is one thing I. But these other acts... The Brackens were given their chance. They would not see reason. The Blackwoods have exploited the war for the Crown to visit atrocities upon I their old rivals. I have seen my fair share of their quarrels, and I tell you there is no honour in a fight such as honor. this. Honour? What of common decency? These beasts proudly carried the banner of House Targaryen. Red dragon on black. Ooh, the Team Black Targaryens. A terrible war is being fought in these lands. <clears throat> they looked after our girls. Not too much. Nope, ignored him every chance I got. He's been fantasizing about his mom. We should have expected nothing more from a man who ordered the slaughter of a child in his mother's arms. That is a lie, and I will have the man who told it brought before me. Oh, your man is half the kingdom. Know this, interloper. This isn't real, the right? The Riverlands are an ancient place, watched closely by the eyes of old gods and new. And dragon or no, we shall not raise our banners for a tyrant. Oh, that was that mic drop moment. She looks like a rare woman, don't she? Well, she just was left leaving Dragonstone. Move along, lass. I have an errand for the Lady Missaria. I thought she was dead. Would she die without collecting her due? Most people weren't out these days. Let her in, dude. Hey, Missaria like, still got the pole. I feel like the horses don't really want to be running in those conditions. You know, because they can't see. Like, I'd trip over a branch if I was that horse. <laughs> hey, that, that girl, girl yeah. Mm -hmm. Come on, Cora, let's join the fight. Put it on, put it on. Let's go. I'll take that, right? Otto's over there dreaming for that moment, and he's like getting it and not really wanting it. What's this? What is this? Was it worth the price? So she she knew probably. She probably saw a vision of it. Kind of like Viserys, huh? In a way. Yeah, he does kind of look like him. And um, Harvey Dent. Rachel! 
Man, you hear him struggling to breathe. I know. I hope he wakes up. Mommy, what if he comes back just an angel? An angel? Like, what if he just comes back just the sweetest? Oh, like, because he had a near-death experience? Yeah. <laughs> I want him to rat his brother out. What if he has, like, seven-pointed stars everywhere? Lysenia. Vagar's first rider. And the first wielder of Dark Sister. Mm. I hope you do not mean to use her as an example. Why shouldn't I? Ooh, it was a long time ago. Oh, he's telling her don't be trying to sling swords. He says what our son says, get with the times. <laughs> what is the mood at the twins? Did his lordship quibble? He wishes for the phrase to be granted Harrenhal at war's end, assuming. I'm proud of you, Jace. You've done our cause a great service. Then why do you look angry? <laughs> Stressed. You chafed at being prevented from action. Imagine, my lord, I'm a dragon rider as well. With a war being fought over my ascension. And yet, I must wait here. Always prudent, sending others to fight and be felled in my name. Even you've managed to do your part. You are the queen. The tie that binds us. No harm can come and to you. And you are my son, and I did not give you leave to go. Do not give me leave to go to anything. But who else is there? Rhaenys is dead and Baylor cannot bear the burden alone. And when Aemond comes hunting for you, your dragon is young. Will you fly before Vhagar as Luke did? Perhaps Daemon could... Daemon is not here. And Aemond now rules in King's Landing. Is Aegon dead? Dead or alive, we have no answer for Vhagar. Aemond will not wait long to press his advantage. And then what? I have done all I can from here. Sent my messages, invoked my alliances. But if all else fails, it is I who must fight. Vhagar is big. But Cyrax is quicker. So was Melis. Melis fought two dragons and one of them is slain. True. Shall I fight for my birthright or shall I wait here until we are all destroyed? So she's getting very impatient. Yeah. He sounded like Lenor. <laughs> mm -hmm. I need dragons. We have no dearth of dragons. We have two large enough to stand against Vagar. They are called Vermithor and Silverwing. And they sleep just beneath our feet. Yes, and if only they had riders, none could stand against me. I would go forth in strength and not from necessity. Are those the untamed ones? Yeah, there is rain. the one he was probably singing to. <sighs> Nearly lost her life in her last attempt. There are those of our line who never ruled. Those who married into other noble houses. Their children born with other names. A generation ago or more. The blood would be thin. And yet? The dragon will only accept a dragon lord to ride it. Also say the histories. <laughs> Valyrian histories written to gild us in glory. <laughs> are you suggesting we put a Malister on a dragon? Metali. It's better than death and defeat. I just pictured Sam. <laughs> Not without a saddle. There are records no shot. here, surely, of our line and of those who fell out of it. Mm. So they're about to start looking for allies in a sense. Right. They're about to be like 23 and me. Basically, yeah. Hey, but you're not doing anything. That's perfect, right? Everyone come join my cause. Maybe you'll get a chance to win a dragon. Bro, that was 20 minutes. <laughs> All right, guys. Crazy episode. So Eamon's officially in charge now. So... It kind of worked out that he murdered his brother, basically. He didn't really kill him, but he definitely microwaved him up. Right. And melted all that very, very, very expensive armor to Valerian his body. Seal. I know, and broke bones. And it was just really gross to see. It was graphic, and it's really sad. And I was really confused. I thought the man was dead. Right. And I was sitting there feeling like so weird about like why are they carrying him up the stairs and bringing him up right. there are they doing that to present it to allison or something well i but thought I they like, were covering up that maybe he w like they didn't want to just say outright say he was dead because that would like shake the realm up yeah that makes sense but they were making it i don't know i feel like they could have just rolled his body in in a less public display of a way i don't know that part was really weird to me at first but then it all made sense because it turned out the man ain't dead he is just incapacitated at the moment and he got the credit for the killing of the dragon when it wasn't even him. Right. It was um, Eamon. So. Right. And then another thing is he's he's basically in a coma. And then as Allison's walking out, he goes, Mommy. Right. And I don't know if he's about to die or if he's about to rat on Eamon. But that's the storyline that I'm trying to see more than anything. Right. I think that'd be really interesting. I'm surprised that I thought the episode was going to be about Eamon trying to do that whole sneaking in there and putting the the pillow over the mouth that whole routine you know what i'm saying that's what i thought was about to happen oh you didn't think amon was about to go kill him no you didn't think so You're no finish the job no i the only reason i didn't think so is because i i really have doubts in Aegon being able to like you know fully function well he just said mommy right 
Do you think maybe that was the show trying to make us think that he has like the mind of like a toddler? I don't know. I don't know, man. I have no idea. I mean, falling from the sky, I don't really think you're going to be able to like fully function anymore. (laughs) Like you fell from the sky. (laughs) Right. Unless you just caught the dragon just right. Right. I doubt that. Um, Yeah, man. Crazy. So the realm is basically shooken up at the moment. They essentially trapped everyone inside King's Landing and it's basically in a way to it's, it's a way of just keeping they're hiding behind the citizens basically is right. what I'm trying to say. So that's pretty sick, like in a really bad way. Eamon's orchestrating that, right? Right. Oh, so definitely not a good character, obviously. I mean, obviously. But Right, but you can tell like during so when there's like the little political, small little political debate between Allison and well, honestly, Eamon didn't have any say in it. Everyone kind of just said it was Eamon. He didn't even say anything. So Allison was sitting well, he there. he planted those seeds early right. on. Right. Yeah, he did. He did plant, he but, did plant those but seeds. Yeah. But Allison, you know, was pitching her, you know, I've I've done it before for Viserys, la, la, la. And they're like, yeah, that was in good times. We need strong people. Yeah, we need strong people, man. Like, that was peace times. Women mm-hmm. are good in peace times. But yeah. you know what? It's it's tough times we need tough men over here you know what i'm saying mm-hmm. and she was not liking that at all and Kristen cole in that moment though when she was like when she was like looking at him like come on bro like back me up and he didn't yeah he was like right we need someone well we Kristen cole obviously well that's the thing about Kristen cole just no honor no honor Kristen. So. but Kristen cole I, actually alcent doesn't 100 percent know but Kristen cole and amen have been like working together well that's my point this yeah. man has no honor he right he's basically just I feel like Eamon got power. Eamon is sort of like making his way like mm-hmm. up the political ladder. And Kristen Cole obviously just says, you know what? Just keep this man close because I'm just going to attach myself to this guy. So, you know, it's a really good thing. He's really manipulative, you know. Mm-hmm. Um, what do I call him? The Dornish Donut or something like that? <laughs> Debbie Cake. The Dornish Debbie Cake. <laughs> Anyways, uh, apparently the man was a snack. So he's used that to his advantage. Uh, apparently he he's charming all these dudes up, which I personally don't get. I wouldn't even want to hang out with him personally, <laughs> personally, but that's just me. But um, yeah, man, he's weaseling his way into power, and yeah, the more he really is. the more disgusting he feels, the more honorless he feels. The more he cares about keeping that sword clean, keeping keeping his uniform white. clean, yeah, yeah keeping the just, optics clean, right. so to say. He really, I mean, he definitely has a conscience. He's just not a good guy. He just denies it all the time. So that part's really interesting. Um, obviously Rhaenyra still is just struggling, uh, because she doesn't have a, a ground army and that's really what she needs. She sent Jace and he did a good job. Well, Jace was supposed to go get Damon's, um, you know, confirmation. <laughs> right. And Jace decided to he pursue had other things. Plans. Yes. Yeah, absolutely. Which was to go to without, the praise. Without telling Rhaenyra, which I don't love. You well, know. but also he knew Rhaenyra wasn't going to allow that, but that also makes it scary because Jace could... You know, Luke, that's what Luke did. Luke, Luke, well, Luke didn't do what he wasn't supposed to do, but, you know, he got murdered by Vagar. So, well, I mean, I know everyone has zero experience because it's been peace times, but I just don't really like seeing unexperienced people like that go out of their way. You know what I mean? Like, kind of reminds me of Game of Thrones with yeah. Rob Stark when he's like, oh, we could have had a tower or something like that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it was cool to see the phrase though, and see that they are still rel- that they were relevant before. I like the way they showed the bridge. They were. Yeah, I, it was a different shot. Yeah, than thrown, so and the bridge was like they were like outside eating at the bridge, whereas Walter Frey likes to stay in his musty, crusty little castle. Right. Yeah. yeah so absolutely. it was cool to see that. It was cool to see that they actually like used that as like, you know, an outdoor eatery. <laughs> That's one of the best parts about the show is just going back and seeing landmarks and stuff. Like for example, if Bear Island comes into play, which it probably won't. But if we could see another shot of Bear Island, because in Game of Thrones, that place was pretty incredible looking. Mm-hmm. And it's just really cool to see different shots of these places in this show. Right. It gives it a whole different feel to it. A good example of that, what you just said, is the veil. We saw that in this episode. Yeah. But it was cool because it was cool to see the lady at the veil. I'm not really sure what her name was. But just to see someone who, like, she just looked like she had it more together because, you know, we know the lady from the veil is breastfeeding her like 13 year old son. Well, the lady from the veil still gave me like, she was so rude, but weird... she seemed like she had it together. She seemed like she'd throw your ass out that hole. If you mess well, with her. Well, Rhaenyra sent her there for a reason. She's going to raise their kids. So I feel right. like she has it together for Rhaenyra to put that trust in her. I definitely see what you're saying. hundred <laughs> percent. Uh, it was really sad seeing Lord Corliss's reaction. Oh yeah. He was basically questioning everything and it was just, it was a really, 
I guess, honest moment when he was basically saying that he's lost everything. Like his pursuit of, I guess, power and status and all this has essentially wiped his house out. Right. And so everything that he's ever done, everything he's ever wanted, all this stuff. It's was, like for what? Was Well, it was for Renice, you know, it was right. for Renice, but it was all superficial in a way, like. The things that he desired for her, she never necessarily wanted for herself, you know? Mm -hmm. And in the end, it ended up costing him. So, um, I just think that part's really sad, man. I really think that it's sad the way they chose to portray it because she's gone, man. She's gone. Just the way he they filmed him just walking solo, the things he's doing solo, questioning the hand, if he should be the hand or not solo. I feel like I hope he does it. I hope it's... I hope he does it because I feel like... Rainier is going to need ships and it will really help if the hand is like, you know, good at that kind of stuff. Yeah. It, it reminded me of uh, Dexter when he said that I can Dexter. Well, have you seen Dexter the first season? Have you seen, do you remember it? No, okay, so, I don't remember it, but yeah, I seen it like years ago. Yeah. We've seen it. I seen it a long time ago and then we watched the prequel one together and we said that on YouTube super early on. Uh, I remember because, but anyways, um, he was basically in Dexter, you know, his sister died. And then he said, oh, you're going to be a great uncle and all this stuff or a great dad or something. And he's like, you were so wrong, Debbie. And he just sells off. Right. And that was the moment that I was thinking of in my head with Lord Corliss. And you thought he would just sell off because I, I kind of feel the vibe. Well, I, I didn't think he would sell off, but he just wants to. like. I, yeah, I feel like I feel like he has a big choice to make here, like. And I hope that because he was trying to tell Bela, like, hey, this is for you. And she's like, no, nah, I can't. I'm fire and blood. You, I'm need fire some, and blood you need some salt and sea over here. Yeah. Or what was that right? Sea and salt. Right. And that made me think about his illegitimate son. Yes. His master son, obviously. And then another thing in the end is Rhaenyra was talking and apparently they're going to start going to the scrolls, the 23 and me scrolls, mm -hmm. and they're going to just start trying to find some bloodlines. And man. you know who I immediately comes to mind? Do you know? No. Okay. There's this guy and, and he was like in the tavern. He was like, how the member they're having a party and Oh yeah. Yeah. Up. He's like, yeah, 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 yeah. He's yeah. like, I'm a brother to Viserys and Damon. Oh, and yes. then when he walked up, he looked a little uncomfortable. So you think he'll fight against him? No, I think that maybe with through Masaria, they'll recruit him. Right. That makes sense. Yeah. yeah that makes a lot of sense. Like, I, I've got really good. When I heard that, I immediately thought of that guy and I was like, oh, that'd be cool. He might can claim a dragon. You think so? He has Targaryen blood. He said it. He's a brother. He did say it. Hey, maybe you're right about that. Yeah, I really, I really like that. I really like that they intertwine just how like the people of the the normal people are feeling because in Game of Thrones, yeah, they did that. Like when Joffrey was there and stuff, they were like, you know, booing. They him. did it through plays. A yeah, lot. Yeah, yeah, and plays. That was a perfect example. But you can actually see some of their households, some of the vibes. You can see how they're treated. You can see the fruit they're getting is rotten. Like you can just start to feel like the crowd a little more in this one. And I kind of like that aspect about it. And it's also interesting how the house divisions, you know, these houses have their own history and personal like beefs and differences. And that's really affecting like how people are choosing to like go about modern day politics, you know, yeah. like Damon was over here having to burn people. He just wanted to bend knees and now he's grilling knees. So he didn't want all that to happen. And he made the comment that he needs the type of men that he has to kill are the exact type of men that he needs. So right. it seems like Rhaenyra's camp has just sort of been like a conundrum. So I've, I've been wondering how are they going to like raise a ground army because they obviously need a ground army to not risk Rhaenyra. Like, I'm really getting level. the vibe that the ground army is going to be the, the people of King's Landing. I genuinely am getting that vibe. Like, I feel like Missaria so? being on her team is only doing that because if you notice all the deaths, like, for example, Missaria's house getting burned up completely blamed on Otto Hightower when it was Laris. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So the po politics within them is running even deep, is running deep as well. And they're genuinely missing times of Viserys because it was peaceful. They didn't have to fight for their food. Like, it was just a lot better time. So I feel like that might be where Rhaenyra wins. Well, I feel like early on, a lot of people were naive at how nasty people would get because mm -hmm. they just have never had to, you know, go down that path before. So, yeah, crazy episode, man. Really intense. Uh, I just need to know what's going to happen with Aegon, man. We really need to figure out if he's going to wake up and rat out Aemon. You know what I mean? Like, 
That'd be the. I kind of almost wish he does. <laughs> well, I hope he does too for some yeah. reason because he's no good either. I mean, Aegon's not the greatest, but Aemon literally is not a kin slayer, but a king slayer attempt. Well, the thing about Aegon is, you know, he's sucked in his own way, but he didn't scheme his way to power. Like, that's the thing about this show is on some level, everyone has to scheme their way to power, you know, but. When people obviously do it and they do it in a schemey way, kind of like how Littlefinger would scheme so much. Scheming is one of those things. It's like gossiping, man. You just don't really do it. It's mm. like frowned upon. So, yeah, I hope he snitches on him, too, because Eamon's a schemer. Right. But he studies history and philosophy. So maybe he'd be better on the crown. I don't know. But in terms of helping out I mean, the cause... He's when he put, he's a detriment because he's gonna yeah. help destroy Rhaenyra. So when he put that ball in though, and he went right to work, I was and impressed then by that. At Allison, right? Well, yeah, I he's was serious. By yeah, that he's serious. Because yeah. I was like, I was like, it's better than Aegon going like doing Beyblades with it. Like, it's better than that. So that sucks. You better know. for who? <laughs> better for Rhaenyra. I think that's worse for Rhaenyra. And oh, something else. You know how I said Otto got blamed for that fire at the White Worms Castle? Yeah, he did. Well, Aegon is taking the blame. For the dragon sl being slayed. So the people are going to look at that and badly. I didn't realize it in real time. But you know when they they said that. They made the comment about what happened to Aegon. And the camera flashed to Kristen Cole. And he went. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah he looked real proud of himself. So <laughs> you know now that in hindsight. I think what we saw in the last episode was. Aemon walked up to Aegon with that knife. I thought that Aegon... So, I thought Aegon was dead, and I thought Aemon was like, my brother's dead, but I see the knife. Thank goodness my brother's dead. I'm going to grab the knife and pursue my own personal whatever. Yeah. And then Kristen Cole saw him, and in the, in that moment, he thought to himself, you know what? And he should what he should have done is he should have walked up on me mourning my brother, mm -hmm. but he didn't. He walked up on me immediately, not really caring about him. I didn't even check on him. I just immediately grabbed the knife. And right. then he walks off. So I misread that. But looking back, I realized that he was probably about to finish him off. And then Kristen right. Cole walked up and seen it and knew it. So right. I definitely misread that wrong. So that kind of changed everything. Yeah, the way he was sheathing his sword in that moment. And he was like, where's Aegon? And he was like... You know, he was really sketch about it. So, yeah. So yeah. that moment was like weird. But I think him giving Aegon the blame is not only like a second son type of thing. Like that's a second son deal. But also because I feel like the people are going to hate Aegon for slaying a dragon because people look at these dragons as these myth mythological beauties, these wonders. And nothing's like a bad omen. than like, like, for example, if we went outside and saw like a slain owl or something, that would be like, oh, shoot. I don't know how the realm would feel because, you know, at the same time, Aemon, in a sense, is a Kingslayer now. And even if the realm hates you, like, Aegon's kid just got murdered in a terrible way. So maybe there's some type of, like, public outcry of sympathy, in a sense. Mm -hmm. And, you know, maybe Aemon taking shots at Aegon like that really shakes up the realm. You know you know what I mean? Like, because then everyone's starting to get really conspiratorial minded and they right. don't know what's real and... You know, it just reinforces what everyone knows is that everything is just a ploy for power. And yes. It's just a crazy thing, man. It's a crazy thing. I can imagine living in this world. I bet the barbershop talk would be crazy. You know what I'm I saying? I mean, it is. You see the talk in the Street of Silk or whatever. Well, they just have plays. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I don't know nothing about But the, plays. the weird thing about Eamon, though, to me, is the another thing about just, like, blaming, saying Aegon's the one who did it. If Eamon wanted to look like a powerful leader or, like, maybe someone that he would choose over Aegon... He would do that, but for some reason, he just didn't take credit. And I feel like it has to do with repercussions. He didn't say that one more time. I just so want to make sure I understand. Amen, not taking credit for what he actually did, which was he What's slayed. Aegon? No, he slayed Melise. But oh, right. I feel like there's a reason he's not taking the credit for it, like a big reason. And I don't know. I feel like it's the propaganda piece to not take credit for it, even though it could be a powerful piece to take credit for. I don't. I'm really like torn I'm trying to understand why. how the people on the ground didn't say, hey, man, I looked up and I saw there she was. It was Vagar. Mm -hmm. I say she because I accidentally called it. I accidentally called her a male dragon. And you guys let me know yeah. about 700 times that Vagar is, in fact, a female and she will continue to be a female. Yeah, on our this bad channel. guys, we didn't flip her over. Yeah, my bad guys. I never spread her wings. <laughs> <laughs> or, you don't know that stuff. Never checked to see if she had some dragon eggs. We we never saw her pee, okay? 
Anyways, um, <laughs> th- that would have been weirder than that scene we just got with uh, your boy Damon and his Yeah, mama. what's up with that? So basically, I feel like Damon has to go through all these like trials in this haunted house of like bad things he's done or like. It's, basically like, the, it's these- like the Daffy Duck thing, dude, where the I'm so sorry to interrupt you, but Daffy Duck is or it's something like that, man. Daffy Duck or one of them dudes, Mickey Mouse, somebody. He did all this stuff and he's kind of greedy and then he the ghost of Christmas past comes and he has to go they like, like honcho, honcho have these butt. visions and then realize the faults of your ways. That's what name is going through. So basically he has to like he has to claim that he is being a basically he's jelly of Viserys, I guess. You know what makes sense? What? It's not that I'm not listening to you, but the 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 thought just came and just popped in my head. So you know how Damon's like kind of sus in a lot of ways, but we're not allowed to say that. <laughs> okay, so I think what it is is he's having his like spiritual awakening right now. Right, and he's on he's ayahuasca. About to, he's about to come out of Heron Hall. The damn, he's about to come out the great leader we always needed, baby. He's gonna be out there just slinging that sword in there. He's gonna be fighting only for when what's it, right. only when it's right. Yeah, only when it's, when right. it's justified and only right. Only when it's right, and he's gonna be down. <laughs> he's gonna pull up on a dragon. It's gonna be red, white, and blue. Yep. He's gonna be like. Argh! But anyways, yeah, Americaris. <laughs> yeah, but anyways, uh, Damon's about to come out swinging for sure. I definitely feel like he's having like some character development in like a weird way. He's going through all these. Maybe like him doing it with his mom is low key like him trying to like sort out some like sick connect fantasy or, or connect something. with her or something. I I have a hard time understanding. I, I don't get it either. But you know, Targaryens they they be incestuous like that, and we just have yeah. to be like, yeah. Absolutely. So we're going to continue to just not talk about that for a little bit. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, but other than that, man, just who gets MVP of this episode? Who gets MVP? Uh, you know what? You know what? We're going to give it to the young fella. We're going to give it to Jace. You're going to give it to Jace. I'm going to give it to Jace and Bela. Even though I feel like what Jace did is going to, you know, turn around and really, I think stab it might his help. ass in the back. Well, I, I don't it... trust a fray. I don't oh, trust a fray. I don't trust a fray as... either. I trust a fray. About as much as I trust fireproof hay. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't trust fireproof hay, baby. So if they try to sell you some fireproof hay, it ain't real. It's a scam. <laughs> it's a fray you sold it. <laughs> they're going to be like, they're going to be like, okay, okay, okay. You can have the bridge. We can do all this, blah, blah, blah. And we're going to pull the collapsing thing on it. And then y'all are going to just be toast. But you got to marry, you got to marry one of our Lord's daughters. And, and then gonna she's like, going to come out looking half donkey. She's going to look like a scarecrow that just got a firework. <laughs> uh, stuck in her and then jace is gonna be like sure and then he's definitely not gonna do it and then <laughs> the phrase are gonna betray them and it's gonna be infamous and then they're pissed for centuries <laughs> it's gonna be glorious yeah and then it's just gonna and then when you're watching game of thrones you're gonna realize that it all came full circle because <laughs> rob was just a young buck who didn't study his history and had he had just spent a little you know a few less nights trying to <laughs> secure his future alliances and Success, successors with that girl then maybe he would have learned his history and not got <laughs> you know shot with an arrow so crazy episode i loved it absolutely just banging the show is Hitting. you know what i'm saying the show is going crazier than hummingbirds at a bird feeder baby <laughs> and uh, i'm loving it it's it's a blast i get excited every sunday because I just it's don't fun know. to watch it's fun to watch i mean i mean i'm gonna keep it a buck i don't like it as much as game of thrones but game of thrones is you know how like you know how like sometimes like you can go ride a bike and you can be like damn this is some good exercise but then you can get the helmet that has like a weird shape to it and the sunglasses and you can be like you can really become one of the people who just do it you know that's kind of how this show is it's like a lifestyle you know (laughs) and i feel like house of dragons is is not like a it's not like a full-fledged lifestyle. Like you got to go to the gym four, four or five days a week. But it's definitely like it's definitely like I got to eat better and make sure I'm hydrated because every once in a while I go House of Dragon. What know? are you talking about? <laughs> I'm just saying that this show at the end of the day is I wouldn't say it's a lifestyle like how, like Game of Thrones was, but it's definitely iconic and I'm loving it. And yeah, you, you guys know what I'm saying. You guys out there know exactly what I'm talking about. I think you should pledge your houses right now. You should stop what you're doing. You should comment below Team Green or Team Black right now. That's not a house. That's what I meant. I'm with House Targaryen. Yes. I'm on both sides. <laughs> <laughs> you, you see what I'm saying, though? I'm with the Tullys. <laughs> I'm with House Tully. Or you can just say House October and we'll be happy with that as well. Guys, thank you so much for hanging out. 
sorry that my analogy wasn't hitting. I won't do it no more. <laughs> okay. But uh, I just wanted to try it. We'll see you on the next one.